Okay, so in last uh, video, I have shared you the information about how you can uh, bring the data uh, into web UIs uh, and uh, uh, how you uh, change the uh, input types like uh, what if it is read only what or what is if it is password type what if it is a text type and what if it is a hidden type and this we are particularly doing with the primary keys like why it is so because we don't want that the primary key credential should be shared with the uh, users right usually they are kept uh, for uh, administrative part so it should not be like uh, we should not disclose that information right every time so it is always good to secure this primary key information now uh, this is what we have done now please try to understand that now this is this particular uh, interface this uh, where this script provides me this JSP provide provides me the list of records from the table student so now here in order to understand select we'll just try to see uh, two forms of select one is how we can select all records from the table this is one where we haven't filtered it out this is one and the second is how we can select an appropriate record so in order to understand the first point how we can select all record at an instance of time so now look at here now interesting uh, important uh, JSP for is for us is my database.jsp now the intent of this particular JSP to bring out uh, all the table values to you right so that you can understand and uh, whatever the changes that are going to be made at the table level that you are going to see now let us go back to our JSP uh, netbeans and we'll try to identify uh, try to understand how uh, my database uh, JSP works now look at here this is interesting now look at here first first and the far most important thing is we have to we have to import java.sql.star this uh, library we need to include so uh, the page directives we are going to import java.sql okay now next important thing that we have already explored at the time of uh, understanding insert that you need to call for uh, driver that is class dot for name then you are going to create connection and the get connection driver manager dot get connection takes three arguments first is host root num root and password that is username and password so this is what the three attribute that you want to do now this is what is interesting you create a statement and now once the connection gives you statement it is your uh, time to execute a uh, select query now usually select query is written as select star from student so select here if you look at this query it says that select star from student star means all attribute of the student and we know that student table contains only three attributes student roll number student name and student age so all three attributes are being selected here now the statement in case the time the time we are uh, we have executed select uh, insert we have seen that uh, statement dot execute uh, a method we have used right if you look at here I can show you that uh, uh, statement dot execute see this is the method which is being there so there are certain forms of it execute execute and execute query so this is important this is important and this is important so execute is returning boolean and execute query is returning result set so the time you are you want yeah that you wanted to read the data from the table you are definitely in need of the result set that is the record set we can say the set of tuple structures uh, set of tuples that are returning from the table right based on the select query so when you, we use execute execute we will use for insert update and delete whereas execute query will use uh, this method this execute query method will use when we are going for ex exclusively for select 
okay so this is what we are going to do now that this is select statement has given me statement uh, the statement dot execute query has given me result set this is the query that i am going to execute now in order to present this particular data into a tabular structure like this table structure like this what we need to do is that we need to create this particular rows uh, at the runtime because uh, our select query is giving me more than one record so uh, accordingly we have to go for dynamic creation of the table now for creating a dynamic table what is actually required is you need to go for a table tag so which we use uh, which we create using out.println out.println where we create a first attribute column second column third column right and fourth column is action so you can decide how table you want it to have now if you look at here once this result set is query is being executed you form the re result set which contains the record now you need to read this record now in order to read the record you have to use like while uh, while loop you will use a while loop while record dot next means it will execute the loop till uh, uh, record uh, set has the record so here what i did is that i have created one variable called uh, build row data so build row data means what all the rows will be created one by one and uh, being presented to the uh, page okay so in for understanding this you need to understand that okay so result set dot get integer so get integer of one um, uh, this is this is how we are going to access the attribute so we know that our first attribute is roll number and which is primary key and of type integer so we are going to get that into an integer form so get rs dot get integer will do that okay if you wanted to read um, the string data you can go for rs dot get string okay and now what this one two and three stand they are the ordinals of the column numbers so my first column number is integer second column number column is of type string third column number is of type string so uh, rs dot get string method will give returns me the string get integer will return me an integer so uh, and it is really um, uh, very convenient for you when you are working in java like if you wish to represent data in an integer form you build up integer you take the data into a string form still integer data can be taken into a string form because age is here of string form so it builds this record this while loop builds the row values so this is row value one row value this is c table data so here you started row this started creating a row so row table data then this first attribute end of the table data second attribute end of the table data third attribute end of the table data right and in the next uh, line number 37 what i did is i have concatenated the first line content with the second and uh, it goes on doing it so it started creating a table row here and the table row ends here so this is how you can prepare a dynamic table right and uh, once you read the select you can further uh, investigate into a proper way okay so this is uh, this is the first uh, video on select where uh, first video on select where we have selected the whole table in my next video now i'm going to tell you about how i have how i have uh, how we can exit uh, how we can read uh, one particular record in the uh, from the table uh, so for that what we need to do is uh, we need to use the same method only thing is that select star from student where roll number is equals to uh, 2002 but the question is how do i pass 2002 um, to a page so that it can read so in last video we have seen that 2002 is being passed so don't forget to watch the next video where i am going to tell you about how to read a specific record from the table now if you have any questions on this uh, you can post me those questions on the group thank you very much